Hello, go whores and fellow tonight's. I'm Brendan. I'm Sam. And welcome to our life in horror. And we're doing a physical media update. Like to, this is together. A, a midlife, uh, mid midlife. This is a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mid month. Uh, no, it's not quite mid month yet, but um, pick up. Yeah, we went to the antique mall, so. This is mainly going to be a Sam pickup. Yeah, I was going to do a solo video, but I told you to do it with me. Yep. Yeah. Um, whenever I pick up movies, they're just the cheap DVDs. So get ready for a lot of straight cheap, <laughs> straight the DVD. Actually, they're not as cheap as I figured they would be, but I get it. Everybody's. I mean, I've, when I start selling some more DVDs and stuff, I'm also going to be selling for four to five dollars. So like. I understand the prices we bought them for. Yeah, and please let us know if you've seen these movies and if they're any good or if they are terrible. Just be honest. <laughs> yes, because they all look like things I would skip over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, a couple of these I've been eyeing and really want to watch though. So yeah, there's there's one in there that you picked up that I was okay. like, okay, we'll get that one. I'll pick, pick well, up. I'll announce that one last. I mainly wanted to grab that on Blu-ray, but okay. Here. Well, too late. It doesn't mean I still might not. Okay. There's... Let's get to it. Okay. <laughs> well, why don't you start with one, and then I'll start with one sure. of the picks. This one was, is that a five? Yep. Five bucks. Reborn, a new breed of killing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read the back. Yeah, I'm curious. Um, okay. When a property in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona falls into default foreclosure and goes up for public auction, an eager young newlywed couple jumps at the opportunity to purchase it. Little do they know it used to be a torture ground owned by the serial killer Motorman Dan, whose crimes became the most puzzling in U.S. history. Now their honeymoon phase has come to a horrific, horrifying halt as the Motorman rises for one more round of terror. <laughs> I'm so excited. It sounds okay. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? It's 18A. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah. Um, it looks like there's going to be some torture. Yep. Right up my alley. Yep. They all look like they're up your alley. <laughs> I know. Let me put that up there a little bit. Hopefully that's in frame. But um, yeah, have you seen this movie? Please let me know if it's good, if it's bad. Don't give me any spoilers, though. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so this is one that I picked up mainly because she got one and I saw this. Um, this is a Masters of Horror from the TV series, I believe. Um, I have, two, this is my second one, I think. So this is directed by Stuart Gordon, who did Reanimator and Beyond. This is Dreams in the Witch House. Um, I really enjoy Stuart, Gor Stuart Gordon's work, so I figured I'd pick this up and uh, give it a look-see. Um, uh, this is, I have no idea if it's any good or not. Uh, one stressed out student, Walter Gilman, uh, of, sorry, uh, when stressed out student, Walter Gilman, uh, rents a room in a dis decrepit old house, his graduate thesis, thesis study be begin to take, uh, some very strange twists. He suffers nightmares and very, about a vicrocious rat with a human face. He suspects that the gateway to another dimension may exist behind this wall and he's, is seemingly seduced by a luscious she-demon who thirsts for souls of the innocent via a convent that screams for blood. But then Walter must face the most depraved urge of all. Will the line between madness, murder, and unholy mayhem be crossed forever? Don't know. <laughs> Gotta watch to find out. <laughs> yeah, I don't have I don't have very many of these, like I said, so I've been trying to slowly maybe gather them up. I don't know. No, it's five bucks. Yes. We're going to tell you the prices we picked them up for. Just for fun. Yeah. Let us know if we overpaid. <laughs> yeah. All right. My next one was $4. <laughs> Dead doll. More than just a pretty play thing. I think this one was overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been better as a dollar. It's also 18A. Okay. A uh, frustrated sculptor strangles his beautiful girlfriend and entombs her body into a lifelike doll. As her spirit lingers within her new body, the travel she travels from one owner to the next, seducing men and luring them to their deaths. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. These are probably it'll be bad, but I don't care. Yeah. Have you seen it? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I gotta say about that one. Okay. 
What's your next one? Or you want me to do another? Uh, you go ahead and do one more. Okay. This one was $4. I picked it up because I have not seen this one since I went to the theater for it back in. Oh, you saw this in theaters? I saw it in theaters. Hmm. I don't know where the year is, but it's Black Dahlia. I have never seen this movie. I liked it when I saw it in theaters, but I don't remember it well. Mm. Scarlett jo- Johansson's in it. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll read the back. Is it Brian De Palma? Who directed it? No. Oh. Sir. Yeah, it's Brian De Palma. Okay. Um, from the acclaimed director of Scarface and the author of L.A. Confidential comes the spellbinding thriller The Black Dahlia. Two ambitious cops, Lee Blanchard and Bucky Bleachart, investigate the shocking murder of an aspiring young starlet. With a corpse so mutilated that photos are kept from the public, the case becomes an obsession for the men and their lives begin to unravel. Blanchard's relationship with his girlfriend, Kay, deteriorates while Bleachart... <laughs> finds himself drawn to the enigmatic Madeline, a wealthy woman with a dark and twisted connection to the victim. Yep. I, I've heard about this movie. I have yet to see it. I've been meaning to pick it up as well. Um, I just never got around to watching it. Yeah, I just watched it the one time at the theaters, and I don't really remember too much of it, but I liked it at the time. But I mean, it's I'm two hours and two minutes. Yeah, it's long. Yeah, but that's okay. I've, I've been eyeing it for like a couple of years now. Oh, okay. like to rewatch it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll sit down and do that one. Yeah. Um, and this was my last intentional pickup. I got the uh, unrated version of Prom Night on Blu ray. Um, this is the remake from, I think, like 2006 or 2008. When did this come out? Do you remember? Mm. 2007? Uh, around there. I don't we watched that one together, actually. Yeah. It's a rewatch for both of us. Yeah. I don't even see a year, actually. Um, this was $3. I mean, for a remake that wasn't anything super spectacular, um, I think this was a fine pickup for 3 bucks. I do have it on DVD, but I will be now selling that and hopefully making a buck off of it. I don't think I need to describe this movie. I think everybody has yeah. seen it. Um, but yeah. I don't mind it. I like Britney Snow, so... Yeah, I know. I and I like a couple of the other people that acted in it, but I don't really recall it at all, to be honest. Yeah, I think we reviewed it on our Instagram, like when we started our Instagram page, but I don't remember. Yeah, I think we I did too. So we did a remake, uh, and we then we watched the original. Yeah. Okay, I got two more. <laughs> this one I've been eyeing for a while to watch, mainly because I'm a House of Wax fan and a Paris Hilton fan. It looks really bad. It looks real bad. Nine uh, lives. <laughs> this looks super bad. Super bad. Let me know if you've seen it and what you think. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna. Or I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna watch it. Yeah, there's a fly that's been going around. I know, it landed on my mad. head. Um, going for four bucks, which is probably too much too. But yeah. Um, Nine friends seclude themselves in an old, isolated Scottish mansion for a birthday weekend bash. Cut off from the outside world by a snowstorm, they explore the old mansion and stumble across a book containing a history of the old estate. Formerly belonging to an old Scot patriot, patriot, the house was taken away from him and his eyes were gouged out. Though they pay no attention to the gruesome chronicle, strange behavior soon invades the group and one by one they disappear. I feel like Craig from Sinister Screen would have seen this. I don't know why. Craig, I have a feeling you've seen this movie because you've seen a lot. Let me know what you think. <laughs> it actually doesn't sound that bad of a premise. No, it doesn't. It just looks like it's going to be bad. Yeah, it But does. I don't care. I've been eyeing it for a while. So I mm. wanted it. All right. <laughs> Add it to your other huge stack of movies in the bedroom that you haven't watched. I know. Yeah. I gotta start. Um, and this is the one I was most excited for because um, where is this one made? Is it Sweden? I'm just guessing. I don't really know. I don't even know if it's going to say on here. Um, it's a foreign slasher, though. England. Norwegian? Sure. Yeah, Norwegian. Could be. Um, so this is a slasher that a lot of people talk about. Well, not a lot of people, but people... I've seen it brought up quite a few times. Yeah. And it's supposed to be really good, so I'm really hoping it is. Cold Prey, I think there's multiple of them. There's two. Yeah. So, 
I'm really excited to watch this. Um, it was five bucks. Five teenage snowboarders are forced to spend the night in a mysteriously abandoned ski lodge, except somebody or something already lives there. It is huge. It is huge, savage, and unstoppable, and now it's angry. But if you think this is going to be the usual trap teen stuck by a maniac movie, you're dead wrong. From the first chilling kill to the final horrific twist, prepare yourself for the smart, intense, and award-winning international sensation that has terrified audiences around the world and put the edge back into put the edge back into the body count genre. If you enjoyed the original Friday the 13th and Halloween raves arrow in the head, you're going to love cold prey. Hmm. And this is the one that I was most excited that you picked up. Yeah. I have been looking at them, trying to find decent prices for them on Blu-ray. Um, but I haven't gotten around to grabbing them. Yeah. I'm pumped for this. I feel like I should wait to the winter based off of the setting, but I kind of don't want to. It's kind of nice to watch cold movies in the summertime. That's true. Yeah. Maybe we will. That's why it's nice to watch hot movies during the winter time. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm most excited for this one, I think. Um, the rest we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we could even do like a winter in July episode where we pick a cold movie. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Those are our pickups. Yep. Small little batch, but they're all Sam's, so she had to come and show them off. Yes. <laughs> Let us know if you've watched any of them, please. Yeah. If they're good or bad. But other than that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we do also do have a Patreon page where we do provide a lot of extra comments. And thank you so much for our subscribers. You guys are amazing. Um, and also, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit that hit that share button, get some other people following us on this channel because we would really appreciate all the support, people. And stay spooky.